this video is about missing or is about using commas to set off essential, non essential information. Commas are used before and after words that interrupt a sentence and add extra information to the sentence. If the basic meaning of the sentence doesn't change significantly without that extra information, then those added words aren't essential and they need commas to set them off. So let's look at this example. The average flight time from Amsterdam to Atlanta, however, is eight and a half hours. You see that the word however, whoops, you see that the word however has commas surrounding it. Now let's think of these commas as little hooks. Now, if these hooks are surrounding a word or an element of the sentence, that means we can kind of just pop that element in and out of the sentence like a hat that we would take on or off. That doesn't really change us all that much. It's just adds something to us. So think of these little, think of these commas as hooks. If we pop out the word however from the sentence and read the sentence, does the meaning still stay the same? The average flight time from Amsterdam to Atlanta is eight and a half hours. Yes, the meaning does stay the same. That means the word however is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. And because it's not essential, we need to use these commas to set it off from the rest of the sentence. Let's look at another example. My boyfriend Stephen is picking me up in front of Adderhold after class. Stephen has commas that are around him, setting off the word Stephen from the rest of the sentence. Now, if we think of them as hooks, again, that means we can just pop Stephen right out of the sentence, and the sentence will still make sense. My boyfriend is picking me up in front of Adderhold after class. The sentence still makes sense. Stephen is just further describing who my boyfriend actually is. He's not essential to the sentence. This word Stephen doesn't need to be in the sentence for you to understand that my boyfriend is picking me up. All right, let's look at another sentence. My sister Christina and I went to Yaburger yesterday for lunch. Well, wait a minute. How come Christina doesn't have commas around around her while Stephen did? That's because I that's because Christina is actually um, important to the sentence. It is essential for you to understand the sentence. And that's because I don't just have one sister, I have three sisters. I have Christina, I have Beth, and I have Ellen. But I only went to Yaburger with one sister, Christina. If commas were surrounding the word Christina, that would mean that Christina is not an, an essential part to this sentence. We can just use these little hooks pop Christina right out of the sentence, and the sentence would still hold the same meaning. My sister and I went to Yabricker yesterday for lunch. Well, which sister? I only went with one. This could mean Beth and I, Ellen and I, or Christina and I went to Yabricker. But I want specifically for you to understand that I went with Christina. So we would not use the commas to set it off because it is essential. It's not something that can be just popped in and out of the sentence. Let's look back at the sentence we just looked at with my boyfriend, Stephen, and talk about that a little bit more. If we didn't have these commas here, that would mean that, that I needed to really clarify who my boyfriend is my boyfriend Steven as opposed to my boyfriend Justin, my boyfriend Alex, my boyfriend Christopher. This is saying that I have multiple boyfriends, but it is essential that you understand that this particular boyfriend is the one who picked me up in front of Adderhold. But since I only have one boyfriend, it's not necessary for me to mention his name because there's only one boyfriend that you could choose from because I only have one. So it's a not it's not an essential part of the sentence. We would set it off with commas because it can be popped right out and the meaning of the sentence doesn't change. All right, one last example. 
The immigration's officer checking my passport at the airport didn't believe the picture was actually me. All right, there's no commas in, that are there's no commas that are surrounding elements of this sentence. So that means that every part of the sentence is essential for, in order for it to make sense. What if though we had a comma here and we had a comma here? The immigration's officer checking my passport at the airport didn't believe the picture was actually me. This would be saying that this phrase right here wasn't essential to the sentence, so it could be popped right out, and the sentence would still make sense. But I'm being very deliberate by giving you this information. I want you to know that it was this particular immigrations officer, the immigrations officer who was checking my passport at the airport, who didn't think the picture was actually me. I'm not talking about the immigrations officer who was on his lunch break, and wasn't there. I'm not talking about the immigrations officer who um, was on duty at borders control in between Canada and um, the United States as I was driving. I'm not talking about the immigrations officer who was off duty and at home that day. I'm talking about a, a specific immigrations officer, the one who was checking my passport at the airport. And because this piece of information is, is essential to the sentence, then I don't use commas to set it off.